Let's now address the idea of a sequence approaching a limit. And this is a concept we've already seen before in Calculus 1. In the last video, I mentioned Newton's method. Newton's method is a root-finding algorithm. And in case you don't recall, here's how it works. The user input some guess, and then we use that guess to create a sequence. So the user decides what x sub zero should be. Once we've decided what x sub zero should be, we can calculate sub 1. Once we've calculated x sub 1, we can calculate x sub 2, and so on. And we get a list of numbers. And the idea of Newton's method is that as we go down this list, the numbers get closer and closer to our root of this function f of x. So we have the idea of a sequence approaching a number. Definition. Stated a little informally, but a sequence has a limit L. If as n goes to infinity, a sub n gets arbitrarily close to L. And we say that a sequence converges if it has a limit. A sequence without a limit diverges. And we frequently allow ourselves to be a little sloppy with our notation and say things like a sub n equals one divided by n converges to zero. And what makes this notation sloppy is that this is not a sequence. It's a rule that tells you um, how to compute the entries of a sequence. But a sub n, n goes from one to infinity. Gives you this sequence. Whereas a sub n, n goes from 10 to infinity. gives you this sequence. We can get away with that kind of sloppiness because of the following theorem. It is true that something like this can be used to define multiple sequences. 
However, these multiple sequences either always converge or always diverge. That is to say, there is no possibility that one will give us convergence and 10 will give us divergence. Convergence or divergence only depends on this formula, not on this starting value. Furthermore, if any of these sequences converges, then they all converge no matter where they start at, and they converge to the same number. So there's no possibility that this converges to zero, or this converges to five or anything like that. So for discussing the convergence or divergence of a sequence, where we start doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this formula. And that's why we feel free to write things like this, even if it is a little informal. In the next video, we'll just give a few quick examples of convergent and divergent sequences.